Well, g'day everybody and welcome back to American Truck Sim. You will notice that we have $206,000 in our account. That's because I've just overly, overly, overly debted myself. The reason why I've overly debted myself was because I thought that we might be able to assign our truck to this dude here. But it's just sending me there. Now, I'm probably doing something completely and utterly wrong here. But I was hoping that uh, with this Mac Anthem, I would have been able to give it to, uh, let's see, can we relocate? Let's see. Oh, we can, you dork. There we go. There we go. I made a boo-boo. But that's okay, because I can pay that loan back. That's easy enough. So if we go to driver manager now, we've got... Uh, He's driving the Mac Anthem. There we go, because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to have him driving the Mac Anthem so that we could... Uh, uh, now, let's see. Uh, what have we got there? Let's uh, repay that. Yes. Let's repay that. Yes. Now we're back down to 5,197. That's a little bit more like it, isn't it? Being poor old Semidium with, with an awesome moustache, by the way. An awesome moustache. Let's go and have a look at the uh, job market. Let's go do a quick job. Uh, for, actually, let's go somewhere else. Let's go down to, let's head down to New Mexico somewhere and see if we can get a quick job from, say, Albuquerque or something like that. I don't want to do a, I don't want to do a really long job. Uh, and we might drive something other than a Mac. Uh, we haven't driven a Volvo yet. That looks nice. That looks like a nice job, uh, 28.92 per mile, and we're driving a, Vol a Volvo. I don't think we've driven that in this series yet, so let's do that. Let's take that job. I hope you guys are well. Uh, oh, crap, it's raining. It's raining, and we're going to be driving into the night as well. Let's start this beast up here. Okay, beautiful. Uh, let's remember exactly what everything is, Simi. Uh, there we go. Let's, uh, reset our track IR. Now, what we do need to do, though, is, uh, uh, that's not too bad, actually. That's not too bad at all, so we should be right there. Let's turn our wipers on. Let's turn our lights on. Uh, we're taking cars, guys. We're taking cars for a cruise because this is a loan. Oh, it does have its own GPS. There we go. So we don't need to do that. All right. So we can get rid of that like so because we've got a GPS down on the dash there. So let's throw this in uh, in forward. I'm pretty sure that the uh, park brake on this thing is off. Yes, it is. And uh, let's head out. Let us head out and do this job. Um, I'm quite happy that this uh, that this series is is, uh, is doing quite well on the channel. Um, you know that it's getting sort of up around the hundred views, the the sort of ninety to a hundred views. I'm pretty happy about that, and I'm glad about that because I do love I do love driving trucks in guys, and uh, I do want to keep bringing it to the channel. So make sure that uh, make sure that you hit like for me and. Uh, oh, and uh, you know, give, give, give it all a good watch because um, because it really does help the channel out and it helps me keep these uh, these type of series going. Because uh, which is why I've actually stopped um, stopped doing farm sim. I've stopped doing farm sim because can you please wait there, sir? I do apologise. I'm just gonna get around here, get this trailer around there without taking you out. There we go. Beautiful. Um, I, yeah, you, you will notice that I have uh, I have actually stopped um, stopped playing farm sim on the channel, and the reason why I've stopped playing farm sim on the channel is because I don't get many views on it. Not many people are interested in watching it, so I've had to kind of stop it. Uh, and I would hate to have to do this for American Truck Sim. Um, and, uh, and, and of course on the other side of it, if you guys want to see some Euro Truck Sim as well as American Truck Sim, then let me know. Let me know in the comments and let me know by hitting like on this as well. So that would be really, really cool. Now, uh, America, we, if we can turn left, we can turn right on a red light. That's crazy. 
crazy. That's crazy. Uh, what do we got? We've got the high beam on. We'll probably want to turn the high beam off, actually. Uh, I'm going to get over into that lane there. This is a pretty simple job to do. Pretty simple job to do. So it's, uh, it's Anzac Day here in Australia. I'm filming this on Anzac Day, which is Sunday. Um, as you guys know, pre-recording episodes for the week. Um, because of work and stuff like that. But uh, Anzac Day today, so lest we forget um, all of those soldiers that have uh, given their lives serving our countries to protect us and give us the freedom that, uh, that we all just have come to expect um one little thing and i don't get i don't get very political uh you know you know that i don't like getting political on this channel you know that i don't like getting political on streams and stuff like that and i guess this kind of isn't in a sense but uh there's been a lot of um there's been a lot of criticism of uh, in here here in australia and i'm not and i know that there has been past in America and I think uh, in uh, in the UK as well uh, a lot of criticism of our soldiers and the way they handle themselves overseas in war zones and, and all that type of stuff and there's a lot of criticism from all of these narcissists that we're starting to get used to um, uh, that, that are an everyday part of our social media life nowadays uh, unfortunately that's one of the things that social media did was that uh, it created a platform for a, for a bunch of uh, um, idiotic narcissists to be uh, whinging and complaining about uh, about uh, certain things and stirring up and, uh, and and upsetting people and stuff. So it's just a, it's just a fact of a fact of our life nowadays. To be honest, uh, in this um, uh, in this day and age, because uh, it is what it is. But um, the, the criticism of the armed forces and stuff, you know, and, and the younger people. We have uh, we have Anzac Day here every year, uh, an Anzac Day parade uh, where all of uh, all of the ex-serving soldiers and uh, all of the, the veterans and stuff like that get to march in the streets and uh, get cheered on and thanked, but basically thanked by everybody for their sacrifice. And it's also to remember all of those that uh, that didn't return and didn't make it back. Um, which is an absolutely wonderful thing, if you ask me. Unfortunately, the younger generations and stuff like that now are starting to forget this type of stuff and not be interested in this type of stuff. The very same people who uh, wake up in the morning and expect their freedom, wake up in the morning and, uh, and uh, can sit there and watch their 75-inch television and uh, connect to the internet without any type of... Um, without any type of restriction and stuff like that and this and these are these are the type of oh crap crap no uh, these are the type of freedoms that uh, that these people fought for and we really do need to show them respect so um, it would be sad if uh, if uh, uh, the do-gooders the narcissist narcissistic do-gooders continue their campaigns against um, especially here in Australia against the Australian soldiers and stuff as opposed to um, as opposed to actually understanding that um, uh, that everything that they do in their daily life in this country is thanks to these people who protected our freedom so there you go I've said it that's it that's all I wanted to talk about but uh, for all of those soldiers um, past present, future, all of the soldiers who are overseas serving at the moment from all countries, then no uh, respect from me because, um, uh, and, and thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your continued service. And thank you for providing me with the freedom to have the things that I want and to have the ability to run a YouTube channel, meet people from all over the world via the internet, watch a large screened TV, um, and uh, and to remain uncensored because I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't be doing it and wouldn't be able to do it if it wasn't for you. So there you go. As soon as uh, as soon as everybody starts realizing that, rather than looking for something else to have a sook about and to big note themselves about, then uh, people really need to start understanding that type of stuff because it really, 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 really insert explosives here me off so there you go 
there you go but uh, there you go <laughs> on a non brighter note <laughs> on a non brighter note because uh, because this is what we this, this is what I this is what I do when I play truck sim I just talk to you guys about stuff I talk to you guys about issues and I talk to you guys about things that might be happening and you know talk to you a lot about um, about my experiences developing uh, you know doing YouTube creating YouTube videos and stuff for you guys to watch. Um, what I wanted to talk about was, and, and it only sort of just sort of, when I set my steering wheel up and, uh, and my track IR and stuff for um, uh, to, to, to film one of these episodes of Truck Sim, um, I, I've got it all set up so it's a pretty easy setup now. It doesn't take me long, you know, it takes me five minutes. It's taking me 15 minutes at the moment. And I'll tell you why it's taking me 15 minutes, because I use a Logitech G29. Now, Logitech to me have always been a, a pretty good product. I've got Logitech uh, got, uh, Logitech wireless headset, I've got, uh, I've got um, uh, my Logitech G29, I've got my uh, Logitech keyboard, and I used to always use a Logitech mouse, and I'm not, I'm using something else this time, and I'll tell you why. This is the story as to why I'm doing that. My, Log my G29 will not, um, my Logitech G29 will not operate without the Logitech G Hub running. And the G Hub is like a client software that you've got to run prior to, um, uh, prior to uh, plugging your steering wheel in to make sure that your steering wheel is recognised in games and uh, that it is working. And you cannot use the steering wheel cannot use the steering wheel without it, right? You cannot use the steering wheel without it. Sorry about that, I was just messing with my thing. Um, now, Logitech G-Hub just hangs. It won't start. It will not start. It goes onto the loading screen. The little logo starts twirling around and doing its fancy little graphically designed G-Hub logo spinny thingy. And uh, But it won't start. Which means that if it doesn't start, I can't get my steering wheel working. Which means that I can't record an episode of American Truck Sim. I'm going to have a uh, have a sip of coffee here, guys. Mm, there you go. Now, this is a very, 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 very widely reported problem that people are having with their G Hub on their computers. Logitech haven't fixed it. This has been like this for months and months and months and months and months. And Logitech just don't give a crap about it. And they're not doing anything to fix it. How am I using my steering wheel? Good, glad you asked. The reason that I am using my steering wheel because I have to go through a massive process of going into task managers, shutting down clients, uh, shutting down Logitech clients, shutting down drivers and software and all that type of stuff, uh, and then going into the actual game folder and running certain execut executables in a uh, in a certain in a, in a certain process in a certain sort of sequence to actually get everything to work now. Uh, for those of you that are having the Logitech G Hub problem, if you want to know how to do that, then you basically got to go into the Task Manager. You've got to shut down the uh, uh, shut down all of the G Hub stuff that is running in your Task Manager, which is the Logitech G Hub agent, uh, the updater, and the Logitech G Hub itself. And then, once you've closed all that down, you need to go into the G Hub folder where uh, where where the software is installed. And you need to firstly run the agent, the uh, Logitech G Hub agent executable. Then you need to um, you need to leave that for for quite a few seconds. Then you need to run the Logitech Updater exe. Leave that running for a few secs. Then you run the G Hub um, software. And most of the time most of the time that works so there you go if you're having that problem that's how you fix it but my point is quite simply we pay a lot a hell of a lot of money for these products a Logitech in Australia a Logitech um, uh, let's um, pause
use that so that we can see what's going on. A Logitech G29 plus the shifter, which you've got to buy separately, costs you over $500, right? Over $500 to have both of those products. That's a lot of money for people to spend. That is a lot of money for people to spend. Um, you know, I mean, some people might say, well, it's not really that much, you know, just over 500 bucks. Well, it is. For some people, it is a lot of money. People who have mortgages, who are who are the single income in a, in a household, who have children, you know, for over 500 Australian dollars is a lot of money. Now, the fact that we pay so much money for this type of stuff, a company like Logitech, who are, who are tending to buy out a lot of stuff, and haven't Logitech just offered... Logitech just offer Discord ten billion dollars or something to buy Discord or something like that. Some some ridiculous thing. I know they offered somebody something to buy something, but um, um, but a company like that needs to really really care about uh, about uh, about their clients and the people buying their product and need to get off their fat caviar asses. Um, and I say fat caviar asses because they're raking in a lot of money for the products that they sell and sort their crap out and sort their software out so that people don't have that trouble you know it's not rocket science I mean yes well okay they do have uh, they do have a, a corner on the market in effect because they are the uh, the more affordable of the type of brands of steering wheels and stuff that you can get because quite honestly some of the steering wheels go into a considerable amount of money some of the other brands and uh, people like myself can't afford those but then people who uh, do lots of trucks in videos and complain about uh, small youtubers like me um, running ads on my on my thing uh, running ads on my channel as we've speaking, spoken about previously well they get these things given to them and they get sponsorship every time they run a every time they run a, a YouTube video with that product in it so you know it's okay for them but for, for, for us uh, us smaller YouTubers and, and for us normal people um, then um, you know over $500 is, is, is a considerable amount of um, discovered a new viewpoint is a considerable amount of money to spend on uh, on a, a product that in effect you have to go through an entire yo-yo process to get working it should not happen in this day and age it should not happen and Logitech should really do something about it but there you go there you go that's Simi having a sook again but it's what we talk about it is what we talk about so there you go um all right so we have uh, we have anzac day here in australia um to to honor our soldiers um uh you know from previous wars from existing wars and all that type of stuff which is an absolutely awesome thing as i said and we really do, do need to support all these people um what, what do you guys have over in your country in regards to um, for uh, you know um, some sort of thank you and uh, parades and stuff for, for your returned servicemen who have um, who have returned from uh, from combat areas and oh crap don't do that buddy what the he drives worse than me holy moly sorry everybody just uh, just just hold it all there I'm just uh, just going in. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Whether you like it or not, I'm coming in, guys. No, I'm not coming in there. Okay, there you go. That was a little bit of a mess up, wasn't it? That was a little bit of a mess up. Gee, some people drive... Oh, crap. I just accidentally paused my thing. Some people drive uh, just as badly in this as they drive in real life. They really, really do. All right. Beautiful. Okay, how far away are we from our destination? It's 64 degrees Fahrenheit out there. Crap, if I know what uh, what 64 degrees is, is it around? Is it around 
10 degrees Celsius or something. I don't know. I have no idea. There's, there's a conversion. There's a conversion. We're still one hour and 12 minutes from our destination. It says we're 60 miles from our destination. So there you go. Um, oh, all these conversions. I have been challenged by... Uh, I happen to be driving uh, when I was driving around uh, Colorado and stuff. I do happen to be driving within... Uh, a certain amount of miles of one of our viewers who actually drives trucks in real life and where he is in real life at the moment driving um, which is really funny but he challenged me because uh, he has been posting pictures on discord uh, of all the snow and stuff that they've, uh, that they've had up there and he has challenged me to uh, to do a snow a driving in ice and snow video on American Truck Sim so um, uh, I have bravely, bravely, bravely accepted the challenge, although I haven't accepted it verbally or uh, in text to him anyway, so don't tell him that I said this, but uh, I, I am going to do that one day. So there is a, a mod that you can download. I'm pretty sure you can download it in American Truck Sim as well. Uh, I know there's one for Euro Truck Sim, but I'm pretty sure there's one for American Truck Sim. If there is, guys, point me in the right direction. Tell me what the best one is that I can download. And uh, we'll do a snow run one day, which will be really cool. Ah, uh, pumping that old Volvo. I am drinking coffee. Yes, drinking coffee. Uh, so this is the fourth YouTube episode um, that I have recorded today. So that's pretty cool. Uh, each each different. I, actually, today I recorded a lumberjack. Dynasty. I've recorded a Farmer's Dynasty, which I was very excited about doing again because I haven't done any of those for a while. Uh, I recorded a first look of Scrapper's Simulator. Scrapper Simulator, I think it's called. Um, which was kindly donated to the channel by one of our viewers. Uh, which reminds me, if you do want to donate a game, then uh, please let me know. There's... Uh, uh, there are donation links um, that you can follow to donate money, or if you're my friend on Steam, you can donate a game through Steam to the channel for me to play. So if there's something that you really like to see me play, then, uh, then most definitely feel free to donate that, because uh, as I said, it's a little bit hard sometimes to... Um, I would love to bring a new game to you guys and a first look to you guys uh, every week, you know? Um, but uh, unfortunately... I, I obviously do not have the funds to do that. Uh, it can uh, doing that type of stuff can be a pretty oh crap uh, a pretty expensive process. Let me just uh, have a look there. I'm just going to wind that window down. Lovely. Get a little bit of fresh air because Spurk, it's not snowing where I am down in New Mexico. Although it may be snowing down in New Mexico for real life. Is it snowing down in New Mexico? I know that, um, I think some people on the Discord were saying that, um, <gasps> we're in Roswell. Show me a, show me a UFO. Show me a UFO. Uh, I know some people on Discord were saying, uh, in their areas that, uh, that it was, they're saying it was too, too late snow or too early for snow too late for snow too late because you guys are going into summer because we're going into winter hmm so there you go but uh, that's the change isn't it that's the change of weather that uh, that we're all having now I mean even over here the seasons are changing they're definitely moving I think at some point in time the seasons the way that they're set out now uh, over here uh, are probably going to have to be maybe moved forward or backward forward or backwards one of those uh, so the whole block is just going to have to be moved forward or dates are going to have to be changed and stuff like that because uh, it definitely looks like they, uh, the season cycle is changing a bit so that's a that's a a farty little uh, retar uh, engine brake, isn't it? Let's get this truck around here. Oh, I love driving this. I love driving trucks. American trucks in. It is awesome. It is awesome. 
is awesome. Okay, so they're bringing out, they brought out the new over here in Australia. I was having a conversation. My my best mate flew over um, on Friday, and uh, actually flew flew back home this morning, which is uh, Sunday morning. Uh, so he stayed a couple of nights, and we often sit down and just gas bag about stuff because that's what we do. Um, and uh, we were talking about um, we were talking about truck licenses and all that type of stuff. Um, and the different track licenses because I have a heavy rigid license uh, which I know in the states they call it something different then we're talking about um, uh, B doubles and the different types of B doubles and, uh, and, and and different names and stuff and I didn't realize because I really don't keep up to date with this type of stuff but um, but uh, they are there are different a lot more different license class uh, license classifications for uh, for trucks now than uh, than what they were you know previously so there's um, there's uh, and, and there's lots of different truck types now as well so you've got the uh, you've got the normal semi then you've got you know you've got B doubles you've got C doubles I think he mentioned something about uh, A doubles or something like that I don't know but uh, I'm gonna have to look into it I'm gonna have to look into it because it'd be interesting to see uh, what the different types of classifications and stuff were because I was actually thinking of going out and getting my semi-truck license so we're coming down to a 40 speed limit here I don't think we're very far away from uh, from our drop-off point I don't think we're very far away from our drop-off point at all uh, let's see we, we could be doing 40 in here so that's pretty cool Uh, what's that? The land of enchantment. The land of enchantment. Enchantment. Achievement. I need to get over there. Come on! Don't be a. Don't be a thing. Don't be a thing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to freak him out by just uh, driving. Oh bugger! I was going to park right up his bottom. Right up his bottom. There's a little bit of a reminder that uh, he wouldn't let me in and that I am 400 times the size of his minuscule self. Alright, beautiful. Uh, there we go. What's that? Is that... Uh, hmm. Trucking. Keep on trucking. Do you remember those t-shirts back in the 70s? Oh, all the printed t-shirts that... Uh, there go. Oh, we've got ourselves a... We have ourselves a train. A little choo-choo train. Actually, that's really cool because what I can do is... Uh, no, not that. Is uh, I can go outside and I can get myself a lovely screenshot here. Lovely screenshot. There we go. Come on, train. Come on, train. Here we go. Oh, listen to that rail engineer, hey? Listen to that, mate. Rail engineer loves his trains. Loves his trains. All right, that was that was pretty cool. I uh, I I was on my way to uh, to my first job the other day, and uh, I got held up by a uh, at, at a um, uh, at a rail crossing, and it was a goods train. It must have been coming from over east, um, and uh, it was so long. It was quite comfortable. I was quite happy to sit there and, and watch it. Uh, watch it uh, roll across in front of me so it had three three or four four engines on it and it must have been I don't know how long it was to be honest it was massive it was massive and it made me want to come home and uh, play train sim and record some train sim for you guys and then I got really sad because I thought well I can't record train sim for you guys because uh, nobody watches it Nobody watches it and nobody enjoys it on the channel. So 
I got very sad. But then I got happy again because then I thought, well, it's a good opportunity for you to sit down and play train sim on your lonesome, just by yourself and relax. And then I thought, okay, that's cool. And then I got happy and then I got really sad again because I thought, well, what's the point in doing that? Because I should really be, if I'm playing something, I should really be recording it and playing something that I shouldn't be recording. So then I got sad again. So I got happy and then I got sad and then I got sad and then I got happy again. All right, let's go and have a look at this. Okay, beautiful. All right, so it looks like we've got to come in here and then just back this in. Back him in. Uh, let's throw that on. No, I don't want to skip the parking. Sorry that it's been a night time run again, guys. But uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. I mean, I can manipulate the time in the game so that we're driving. Oh, look, another train. Uh, it's got... Uh, huge carriages on it. Um, I can manipulate the time on the game so that we're not driving at night but um, you know uh, but, but, but you guys know I mean you know the, the game is the game is um, driving trucks whether it's at night or whether it's at day at, during the day so um, so I decided that I decided uh, when I started this series that what I was going to do is just make sure that if it was a nighttime run then I did a nighttime run. If it was a daytime run, then I did a daytime run. Whatever it turns out to be, no, I don't want to skip parking. So what I'm going to have to do as well is I'm going to have to um, change that setting because I think there's uh, a setting in there that, uh, that says that you don't have to, uh, that it won't bring up the skip parking dialogue. So let's get this little beast in here. Back this little Volvo in. Might be over a little bit too far, but eh, we'll, be all right. we'll be all right. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. Have a look at that, guys. Hey, have a look at that. Let's uh, throw that on there. We are in neutral, and uh, let me pause this track IR like so. Crap! Pressing the wrong button. What's that? What's that do? Oh, okay, that's what I've set those horns to. Normal horn, unnormal horn. There you go. Sorry, guys. I'm, I am, I am, I am farting around. I am farting around. There goes a nice little Volvo trip there. Uh, we've got uh, seven thousand two hundred and fifty-one dollars from that. We've gone up to uh, level. Well, we're still at, we're on level six. Enthusiast. We are an enthusiast. So we will uh, continue there. Uh, we Oh, well, yes, we did level up. I thought we leveled up. What are we going to go? Not just-in-time deliveries. Uh, not fuel economy. High value, long distance. Well, I'm trying to steer away from long long distance for this um, uh, for this series so that I don't have to chop and change. So I might stay away from the long distance at the moment. We will do high value stuff, I reckon. So we'll work on those two. And then we've also got to work on uh, getting ourselves up to being able to some qualifications and stuff to be able to deliver some fuel and things like that as well. Uh, let us see what's happening. Let's go into our driver manager. What uh, uh, He is taking a load. Uh, he's getting $6.70 a mile, $200 a day. Uh, where is he at the moment? Uh, he's used packaging from Ratton, from Walbert um, to 42 Printing, Colorado Springs. Finishes in three hours. Beautiful. Make all that money, dude, so that I can pay that bloody truck off. So that I can pay that truck off. Earn as much as you can. Okay. Perfect. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching this one. Uh, it was a bit of a mixture of things to say today, I guess, but uh, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it and I really appreciate you watching it. So I would appreciate it if you could throw a like down the bottom uh, on this video for me as well, because that will help out quite a lot. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.